Hey, how you guys doing tonight? All right, good. Uh, so just uh, to get started off, um, I really hate Girl Scouts. There's a reason behind it. Um, my dad left us for the Girl Scout leader. Totally not his fault. She needed her home wrecking badge, okay? He was only trying to help. Thank God I didn't join Boy Scouts. Um, <laughs> What has affected me for the rest of my life. Now, every time I see a Girl Scout, I just punch that bitch right in the face. <laughs> then I buy five boxes of Thin Mints, because that shit's delicious. They taste like abandonment. Mm. <laughs> a crowd that likes puns is a crowd of mine, so this is good. Uh, this is a new joke. Um, I just want to tell you the title of the joke, because I think the title might be funnier than the actual joke, but it's... Uh, called Never Shake a Baby, the Matt Howman story. Um, <laughs> one of my boyfriends, uh, when I was in uh, high school, his mom had a sticker on the back of her car, and it said, never, never shake a baby. And I thought that was pretty funny, you know, because why would you just have that on the back of your car? Um, turns out, I told him it was funny, and he said, oh, that's because my uh, brother-in-law shook a baby to death. Uh, don't worry, you got the last laugh, he was gay. Um, okay, that was a new one. I'll throw that in the work-in pile. Okay, <laughs> I understand. Uh, so I was reading on the internet about that Brett Favre, how he sent a picture of his <laughs> to, a, to a lady, and apparently he used a dollar bill uh, for uh, sizing purposes, comparison purposes, which is not very impressive. Um, guys, if you want a strange lady to be uh, interested in your penis, you should use a $100 bill. <laughs> it's true. This is educational now. Since no one's laughing, this is education. <laughs> uh, I work at Starbucks on the weekends. Um, I like working there mostly because I work in the drive-thru and there's a camera and most people don't know about it. Uh, I see all kinds of interesting stuff. Like one day I was, uh, I heard the little beep and I turning to the monitor to look at it and I'm like, how can I help you? And there is a girl giving a guy a blowjob. Yeah, Starbucks is really expensive now. I don't know if you've heard. Um, I don't know if I need to try that bad, though. Great. The best part of waking up, right? <laughs> so they get up to the window, and I don't know what to say to them, right? The only thing I can think of to say is, um, do you need a little extra room for cream? <laughs> All right. I know where I need to go now. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else. Oh, I went to a hockey game with my husband. I love any sport where the referee has a 98% chance of getting punched and it's perfectly legal. Oh my God, so awesome. During the game, we saw one of the players take his skate off and stab another player. And the referee said, uh, he called a foul. He called a foul on the guy that got stabbed. He said, number 23, being a pussy. <laughs> it was the best Pee Wee -like League game I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, let's see what else do I got here. Oh, I'm going to do this one. Let's see how this one rolls. <laughs> That's always a good way to start. Um, I have a lot of religious friends, and they're all having babies. And my husband and I have been married five years, and we're not in a hurry. And I had a friend come up and tell me, Megan, I just keep praying that you and Stephen are going to get pregnant. And I said, That's funny, because I thought you were pro life. <laughs> good now the power <laughs> all right guys I'm gonna end on this one um, I hang out with a bunch of guys and people always ask me why do you hang out with guys I'm smelly they're gross I'm like cuz guys do stuff girls would never do like they have this game where they punch each other in the nuts and they call it cock knock because apparently there's nothing funnier than blood in your urine stream um, like girls would never play that like ma'am would, would girls play cock knock no girls play clam slam and I suck at that game because I am a pussy. <laughs> All right, guys, that's my time. I'm Megan Mayo. Let's bring Russ back up to the stage. Come on.